so in our uh, previous or last or somewhere in our library of videos, we had introduced and unboxed our C2X from RC4 Wheel Drive, their class two competition ready to run crawler. Um, I don't know if we have up discussed the upgrades. We just did the tires on it, stock tires suck. Put a metal bumper on it, winch, everything else we pretty much left alone. We're gonna change out the Tamiya connector and go to the light bulb battery. Besides that, we have decided we didn't like the bed on the back. It kind of looked goofy. I understand what they're going for, uh, but it just didn't fit. So we went and picked up a bed from a Trail Finder 2. Um, should have probably looked into it and bought a bed from the four-door version of the truck because it was, I guess, wider. So we had to cut this bed down the middle and open it up. I think it was four millimeter, just in the front half. So we cut it down to here and opened it. We bought this bed 10 millimeters to bring it in. Nothing, not a lot, but enough to make it look proportional to the length of the vehicle. It's nice. Uh, we had to remove the rear fender lip so it matched the front. Unfortunately, this truck comes with a cut fender in the front. And I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but with the Sorka rules, you're not allowed to cut the fender behind the front axle. So this body may not be no good for that. Um, truck comes with actually a pretty nice paint job. Oh, uh, sorry, and the back window. These two pieces here. This used to be the back wall of the truck. You can order just the back window part to go in without the bottom half, or you can put a piece of masking tape across there, which will just uh, help you line it up when you cut that off, nip that off, get rid of that. You can melt that down into a slurry, which everybody needs some slurry. Uh, it does have paint on it, so I would probably not use that. I've used pieces from this for mine. And then yeah, you go ahead and put that in. And then the seam that, uh, oops, sorry. the seam that will be there, we're gonna sand out and fill and get rid of that with some of the slurry. Uh, speaking of slurry, when we make the slurry, we use acetone, cut off pieces from this bed, and I mix it with micro balloons from Top Flight. It's a uh, glass bead filler kind of thing. It helps make finer bubbles instead of big bubbles when it bubbles up, so it's a little bit easier to work with and fill. Uh, it's kind of a shame. They got such a nice weather stripping around the window detail paint on this body. They don't really want to redo all that work because it kind of sucks, and they did a nice job. I'm not going to knock it. Uh, except for right here. They missed the cast line. They're not going to do that. They're, they're manufacturing. They ain't got time to be like that. So we'll take that out. Some detail I noticed I really did like on that was RC4 Wheel Drive put their logo in the middle of the headlight. I don't know if that's new, but I like that. That's that's, that's flexing. Flexing. So. Yeah, so we're going to, uh, we got the bed pretty much ready to go out for paint. I need to go pick up the material that I use inside the bed to give it the um, box liner look. Uh, the product I used, it's no secret, it is leak seal. If you spray a leak seal from about 30 inches away, it dries, it lands, it dries just like a uh, bed liner. Um, I will show you guys how to do that later. Another thing is we cut the tailgate down, the sides, to give it that, and then we filed it, open that up, kind of give it some more uh, scale realism. Uh, tail light buckets, we're cutting off those, putting a fill plate in. And I'm adding an oval and a round um, light bucket from Axial into there. To clean that up, Kevin, give us some more style. Uh, the front end, the chrome around the headlights is gone. We're going to keep the chrome behind the headlights, but yeah, the chrome around them will be completely gone. And then new color. I don't know. We'll figure that out. So uh, yeah, just a quick update where we're going. The plan is. What we're doing um, interior I was able to jump on that quite a while ago um, great job they did on the interior full interior door handles speakers uh, door release poles uh, window crank sorry armrests even comes with these little 
stainless steel trims. Uh, for the front, it comes with uh, all your nice display. All we had to do is paint up the gauges and the stereo, and that was about it. Um, beautiful, yeah, it's got the ignition slot on the ignition. Everything switches for headlights on the dash. Beautiful job, so. I don't know why there's a piece of Lego in there, but. It's a little bit dusty from sitting on the workbench. So you gotta get cleaned up, goes in. Uh, I tried to color match as best to the 1980 Toyota interior, which I did some looking around, and that's what the dash is and the body is. 1980, apparently. So I went with uh, the one I could find with the all vinyl interior, which is chocolate vinyl, kind of that tan vinyl, and then uh, this lighter tan vinyl, <laughs> uh, khaki, whatever. So yeah, came out pretty good. Um, it's gonna be nice to get this mounted up. I've ordered a bunch of scale stuff to go inside the interior off of eBay and some of it off Etsy. Uh, the stuff on Etsy, as you know, is, or maybe you don't know, when you order an Etsy, um, they take your money and then they slowly build it. So it'll be a while before that gets here, but the truck's a couple weeks out before it's ready to go out. So uh, we'll back with another update. Uh, once the body's done and assembled together and ready to go for paint, we need to strip down the handles, of course, all the details, take all that off. Um, I'll show you how we strip the chrome off the parts with bleach. It's pretty explanatory. Put the parts in the bleach. The chrome goes away. How many want the damn truck, Jesse? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's got a nice gray, but every single one's that gray, so. We'll put our own little flare on, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> 